Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and we're here to present you some latest updates. We'll begin with NASA's Europa Clipper mission, and then we'll talk about SpaceX's stance on Ukraine, followed by the new boon of port connector road to Starbase. So let's start with the first one as NASA has started assembly work of the Europa Clipper spacecraft, which is scheduled to launch on the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. We know that NASA had selected SpaceX in the earlier year to launch their $4.25 billion Europa Clipper spacecraft on their Falcon Heavy rocket to Jupiter, which is scheduled for the year 2024. The launch contract was given at a good price tag of $178 million. Recently, NASA has stated that their teams have initiated the assembly work of Europa Clipper at their Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. On the 3rd of March, in a tweet, NASA stated, It's all coming together. Our spacecraft, with solar arrays spanning the length of a basketball court, has officially entered its assembly stage at NASA JPL. Launch is targeted for 2024 when we set sail for Jupiter's ocean moon, Europa. Regarding the goal of this mission, NASA has stated, Europa Clipper will orbit Jupiter and conduct multiple close flybys of Europa to gather data on the Moon's atmosphere, surface, and interior. Its sophisticated payload will investigate everything from the depth and salinity of the ocean to the thickness of the ice crust to the characteristics of potential plumes that may be venting subsurface water into space. In the delivery and assembly part, Jet Propulsion Laboratory first got a shipment of Europa UVS. According to reports, this UVS is an ultraviolet spectrograph that will search above the surface of Europa for signs of clouds. The instrument will collect ultraviolet light incoming from the sun and then will separate the wavelengths of that light to help determine the composition of Europa's surface and gases in the atmosphere. This Europa UVS was first assembled in San Antonio, Texas, and then transferred to Southern California. As per reports, the core part of the Clipper spacecraft is a cylindrical propulsion module, which has a height of about 3 meters. This module is also installed with electronics, radios, cables, and other propulsion systems. Sources state this core module will be shipped to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory within the next month. After the core module is shipped, it's expected that they'll then deliver the antenna of Clipper to the assembly site. NASA stated about the assembly work that, Once all the components have been integrated to form the large flight system, Europa Clipper will move to JPL's enormous thermal vacuum chamber for testing that simulates the harsh environment of deep space. There also will be intense vibration testing to ensure Europa Clipper can withstand the jostling of launch. Then it's off to Cape Canaveral, Florida for an October 2024 launch. They further continued, When it's fully assembled, Europa Clipper will be as large as an SUV and have solar arrays long enough to span a basketball court, all the better to help power the spacecraft during its journey to Jupiter's icy moon, Europa. Now we've got to wait and watch how fast the project reaches its final stage. After completion of all assembly and test work, Clipper will be launched into a heliocentric orbit in space. Then, after spending nearly a span of three years' time in deep space, it will then carry out gravity assist maneuvers at Earth and Mars to eventually boost itself to Jupiter's moon, Europa, and arrive there by 2028. Now, in our next update, we'll discuss SpaceX's help to Ukraine while President Zelensky invites Musk for future space plans there. In the face of heightened Russian-Ukraine war, SpaceX's Starlink has brought some relief to the civilians there by providing at least strong network connectivity in the war-wrecked country. Not only it kept a part of civilians in touch with their near-dear ones, it also helped in strengthening Ukraine's defense system. 
first batch of Starlink terminals have already arrived and are continuously providing service. In the middle of this, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky stated that he had talked to Musk over a video conference and Musk has assured that SpaceX will provide some more Starlink user terminals to some of Ukraine's destroyed cities. In a recent tweet dated on the 6th of March 2022, Zelensky wrote, Talk to Elon Musk. I am grateful to him for supporting Ukraine with words and deeds. Next week, we will receive another batch of Starlink systems for destroyed cities. It is quite interesting to note that in the middle of this war-threatening situation, Zelensky had also discussed potential space projects that could be done in a partnership between Ukraine and SpaceX. This indicates that Zelensky had good confidence about the future of Ukraine. He wrote, discussed possible space projects, but I'll talk about this after the war. In the meeting, Musk had responded that he looked forward to visiting Ukraine once things are better. Earlier, Musk had tweeted a message of solidarity for the Ukrainian people. He wrote, Hold strong, Ukraine, and also my sympathies to the great people of Russia who do not want this. So we can expect some good policies from SpaceX in Ukraine as well. Our next update shows Port Connector Road as a boon for SpaceX Starbase. In August 2020, the construction of South Port Connector Road was started by the Port of Brownsville. The road had a length of 1.9 miles and it took almost $26 million for construction and completion. Recently, after a span of nearly two years, the road was completed and opened for public use. Sources state that construction of this road has a good connection with SpaceX's Starbase facilities, which are developing rapidly. The new road has a direct connection from the Port of Brownsville to Highway 4, so it is expected that it will provide a direct line of access between Starbase and the Gulf of Mexico effectively aiding SpaceX's rapid growth. And recent reports state that SpaceX had already started taking advantage of this boon of South Port Connector Road. According to an official image shared by Port of Brownsville, SpaceX have been seen heading one of their five newly installed Starbase propellant tanks from the port towards Highway 4. This connector will offer SpaceX a number of new options. The connector road will reduce the 15 to 20 mile drive by 5 to 10 miles to deliver anything from the Port of Brownsville to Starbase. The main advantage is that the road could be used for all types of small and deliveries that SpaceX normally takes in through urban roads with a lot of problems, but this road will ease the situation. If SpaceX can develop a temporary use dock space near the connector road, then future deliveries would have to spend less time on general streets and arrive at Starbase much faster through the connector road. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.